Alrighty, here we have Richie's Nightmares being played on uh, Xbox One. So we have controls, move, or the, the D-pad or the left analog stick, Y to jump, or sorry, Y to use, and A to jump. I'm gonna do a new game. So you play as Richie here. And you have to navigate through these traps in this dreamlike world. And right off the bat you notice that it plays kinda like or it looks kinda like limbo. And I'd say it plays pretty similar to limbo as well. Um, with the exception of the jump mechanic isn't as isn't as smooth as it, as it should be. Um, sometimes you'll go to jump and uh, Richie won't jump at all. Um, other times, <laughs> like that, you'll go to jump and uh, and he'll uh, just miss. Uh, Richie can't swim, so if you end up um, falling in the water, you will drown. There are spikes, obviously. Um, there are uh, electrified bushes. <laughs> um, <laughs> there are uh, just hazards, really, uh, all over. And sometimes the platforms are hard to see, like here. Um, it's hard to see the first platforms. Other times, um, They'll be moving platforms that are just, they move really quickly, and Richie just jumps too slow. And the timing just has to be extremely precise. So, yes, this gameplay is similar to Limbo, but it's not quite as polished. Um, so if you want a game like Limbo, yes, this is worth checking out. Because it pays homage to Limbo very, very well. But it's not... It's just... <laughs> it's it's not quite there, and it, it's not meant to be. Um, it, it, is a, it is a decent game despite its flaws. And there are quite a bit of flaws. So now we got to wait for this gear to show up. Now we come this way. For it to fall. Come on. Jump back. I do say that I, lo I do love the uh, uh, environments that you uh, play in. Um, it does a really good job of, of uh, capturing the uh, aesthetic and feel of the game. It's very dreamlike and kind of haunting in a way, um, and it definitely um, feels really good. The puzzles in the game aren't too terribly difficult. Um, there are uh, there are aspects of the game that are quite frustrating, <laughs> but the uh, puzzle elements are not one of those things. I just drown. <clears throat> the most frustrating thing about the game is going to be the jump mechanic, um, and because of the jump mechanic, it kind of implements. Uh, gotcha deaths, like, deaths you just weren't expecting. Um, like a obstacle you have to jump over and you end up just missing it and end up dying as a result. Um, these floating boxes that you try to jump off of and the character just doesn't move fast enough and the jump mechanic just isn't polished enough 
to make these uh, elements work properly. I mean, this game makes you want to kind of just kind of run through it, but you really can't do that. You have to. Uh, you have to look at this game more of not just as a um, as a precision platformer, which is really what this technically is, as far as I'm concerned. This is really a, a precision platformer, given <laughs> how broken um, some of the mechanics feel. Um, I think it's not necessarily that it's broken, it's just that it's meant to be this challenging. Um, but this definitely does feel like a precision platformer. Uh, because of uh, the jump mechanic just isn't quite what it should be. Um, but uh, in, in any event, it's it's still, despite its flaws, like I said, it is definitely still a great uh, homage to Limbo and definitely a game worth, uh, worth playing. So we need these blocks. There are five nightmares you have to play through, um, and then each. Whoa, that was not fair. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Um, but there are five nightmares you play through. Um, jump over that. Dang it! And each nightmare, there are these little collectible color rings you can get. Um, I think there's like five of them in total. Uh, if you get them all, you get an achievement. Or a trophy, if you play, depending on, on what platform you're playing this on. And the last nightmare is quite the doozy. Come on. Come on, come on, stupid demon. Oh, I forgot about that. I thought, <coughs> I thought you had to jump over it, but no, that's the one that gets stuck. Like I said, there's quite a bit of gotchas in this game. But the good thing about it is the fact that the more you play, <laughs> the more uh, uh, the more that you are able to uh, memorize and and uh, work to avoid. I love the use of the uh, foreground objects. It really gives the game a sense of, of depth. It doesn't feel flat, it feels really good. And uh, that's right, that's the stupid dog thing. I'm gonna come over here and give him a bone. And I can come over here and he won't bother you. The, um... The, 
the push mechanic um, is a bit of, of an annoyance. It feels like he doesn't really put much effort into pushing things. I'm not sure why they, they uh, didn't include that, but... Just, again, this game just doesn't feel very polished, but it's, 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 it's a decent game nonetheless. And these platforms are ridiculous. And again, Richie jumps very, very slow and moves very, very slow. Um, the first time I did that section, it took me quite a while to get through that because of, again, how slow Richie is. Hit Y to get up on this ladder. Ugh. This part took me a while, too, initially. Uh, the game doesn't take too long to beat. It takes about two and a half, three hours. Um, maybe upwards of four, depending on how quickly you're able to get through these sections. <laughs> um, and the end of the game is just nearly impossible. Um, it's not impossible, it's just extremely frustrating, um, given this game's mechanics. Those are those color rings I was referring to. Now, uh, you see how I dropped from that ladder, and just kind of was like, um, didn't get hurt or anything? Um, there are sections in this game where you go to do that. And you'll get stuck in the ground. Like, literally. you have to start the game. You'll have to hit restart, and you'll have to start that section over again. So this game does get a little bit glitchy. Um, but, but again, this game overall is, is a great experience. And one I would highly recommend for Fane of Limbo, pick this game up. Uh, it's, it's a great, short um, homage to, to Limbo that plays very, very well. Despite... Um, it's, uh, issues, <laughs> let's put it that way. But the, uh, review code was provided to me by the publisher, so I do want to thank them for the opportunity. Um, this game is a lot of fun. It's frustrating, uh, very challenging, and overall a really great experience. And that'll do it. I want to thank you for watching, I want to thank you for subscribing, and as always, until next time. Take care and happy gaming.